Hey, how's it going everyone? My name is Ryan and welcome back to Iowa Classic Cars. Today I'll be telling you a new story on how I saved a 1962 Impala SS convertible out of a public junkyard in Iowa back in 2019. With that being said, let's get started. The story begins back in 2014, my first year of college in Indianola, Iowa at Simpson College. I drove to a town named Sandyville, which is like 10 or 12 miles away, just looking for cars on the weekends and in my free time. Now, as I'm going through Sandyville, on the south side of the road, I see what appears to be a convertible in the back weeds. I never stop because there's really no house there on the property. It was just a bunch of cars sitting in an open field in town. But I did see what would look like a convertible pillar, you know, for the, the windshield pillar. And I just thought, you know, maybe it's a Nova, maybe it's a Chevy 2. Not really sure what it was. Did not look like an Impala. Didn't think anything else of it. Fast forward to August of 2019, I actually stopped at Doug's Four Wheelers in Pella, Iowa, which is actually featured on this channel as well, the big junkyard down in Pella. And the first car I see sitting right at the main entrance is this 1962 Impala. Now I walk in right away because I know damn well a 58 to 64 GM convertible is worth pretty good money just in parts and or for building purposes. So I stop in, I ask the guy what he wants for it, and we settle on a price. This guy literally had this car for less than a day. What he told me was he bought four cars from this uh, the estate of this lady and it was all 62 Impalas. There was one convertible, one Tudor hardtop, and then two four doors. The convertible right away had a ton of people's interest um, and it, it just so rough. You know, the floors were out of it, the seats were rusted away. The car had its top down since like the 70s. So the car was just terrible in terms of metal. And I think that's why a lot of people just to the not trained eye didn't jump on it right away, but I knew what it was. I knew I had to grab it right away, so I made a deal with them and locked it down. I had hundreds of people calling me from Doug because he was giving my information to these guys, you know, looking for parts or whatnot since he had sold me the car. And basically I told him, you know, thanks for interest, you guys, but I'm not parting this car out. It's too rare. It is the second year of the SS package, and in a convertible, you know, no doubt, it's even more rare. So brought the car home, really had plans just to clean it up and flip it. I never really meant to keep it in the first place. Uh, I wanted someone to actually get the car who could fix it. And my buddy who I've been talking to for like five or six years, about 59, says, hey man, I've always wanted a 62. Um, you know, you have a 62 SS. It's a convertible. Kind of everything I want in a car. I know it's rough. I can do all the metal work myself. What do you say we work at a deal? So I was all for it, you know, and, and we went back and forth a little bit. But he had a 59 hard top that I've been wanting to get for a while now. I always just kind of kept it in the back of my mind. Just, you know, maybe someday we could trade for, for a car, you know, for that car. So we did the deal, and in, I think, October 2019, he actually brought the car to me. Um, now, this car, you know, it, it needed a lot of work, obviously, but the floors were a little better. It had more trim than the 62 did, but at the same time, a 59 and a 62, while they're still in the, in the X-Frame genre of Impalas, they're a little different, and, you know, the 59 is just a little different animal. So we traded straight across. He got a good car that he wanted. I got the car I wanted, and it all worked out for everyone. So the really cool thing about this car was that it was a 62 SS and it was a convertible. So 62 was the first year of buckets in a Chevrolet. You could get bucket seats in 59 through 61 in Pontiac, Oldsmobile, Buick, and Cadillac, but it was not until 1962 that you could get bucket seats. So this car is a second year SS because 1961 was the first year of the SS. It was a second year SS car. It was a bucket seat car and it was a manual car. So pretty neat in terms of the options it had. And at one time too, it actually did have a Autronic Eye. Um, I did notice that in the dash because there was two holes, factory holes that were stamped right where the Autronic Eye would sit. Even though it wasn't there anymore, it was cool that it did come with that from the factory. So my friend has all good intentions of fixing the car up. He has a 62 floor pan that he actually cut out of a car a few years ago, um, really solid foundation for this convertible itself because the floor pan is rotted the frame is actually broken in the back half as you know why the bumper is sagging but you know what the car is not go too far gone where it can't be saved and an experienced metal worker can definitely bring this car back from the brink so everybody that's been the quick story of how i saved the 1962 ss convertible from a public junkyard back in 2019 in iowa if you guys do want to see a follow-up video with this when the car is in the process of restoration, please leave a comment below saying so and I'll try to get in contact with my friend regarding that and see if we can make something happen in that regards. Also, if you did enjoy the video, please make sure to give it a like rating as well as subscribe for more videos like this on a daily basis. Thank you all for watching. My name is Ryan with Iowa Classic Cars. Until next time, thanks for watching.